Hello YouTube. In this video, I'm going to show you how to and review on a nice little gem that just kind of installed itself on my computer a few weeks ago. IOBit has done it again. They created another really good application and tool that is very, very handy for Windows users. It's called Driver Booster. And you can go to IOBit's site. I'll include the link in the description. Whenever you get to the site, you're going to want to go to Products and go to Driver Booster Free. And from there, all you have to do is click Free Download. It's going to take you over to Soft Sonic and then it'll bring it up. Just click Save. And as soon as it finishes, just click on it and hit run if you're running uh, Firefox or something like that you'll have to tell it to run specifically from the download folder um, if you're running Internet Explorer once the box is done you'll have to click run if you're running Google Chrome down at the bottom as soon as it completes just click on it and then it'll come up open file security warning just hit run and the user account control is going to come up just click yes And then once it finally loads up the installer, click Next. And go ahead and leave Launch Drive Booster selected and hit Finish. Right off the bat, and you can go ahead and shrink your browser down out of the way. It's going to go in and do a scan. And this entirely checks your system for drivers, whether or not they're updated, whether or not you need drivers, whether there's any missing or not. It used to have a beta version of a driver checker. Well, apparently they've mastered it and got it going and it's now driver booster. And apparently I actually have one that's out. So if you have any that show that they're out or anything like that, you can just select update all. And it'll update all drivers that are out of date that have new ones or anything that has, you have installed in the system that doesn't have a driver that it found one for or knows where to get it. Then it'll go in and install it. Okay, and it's completed downloading. Now it's going to create a restore point and install and update the drivers. By the way, that pop-up that just popped up that I had to click allow on. If you have IOBit Malware Fighter installed and it's trying to make major system changes to system files and things like that, it's going to pop up asking you whether you want to allow or deny, which is actually a very good thing because if you're just sitting there browsing the internet and that pops up and you're not installing anything and you haven't started anything, you probably want to click deny. But if you have something, if you have that pop up and you're doing an installation and it relates directly to what you're installing, yeah, you're going to want to click allow, otherwise, it won't allow you to continue the install. Once it's finished and if it needs to reboot, it'll pop up telling you you can click that to reboot. And as soon as you click it, it's going to go ahead and shut everything down, reboot your system, and come back up. I'm not going to worry about rebooting it right now. I'm just going to go ahead and close that down and get it out of the way. I can reboot later. Sound's still going to work. So if you really want to wait a little bit, you're free to do so. IOBit, again, like I said, has done it again. Driver Booster is a very handy tool to have on your system. Um, it'll help keep all your drivers updated. Eh, it probably wouldn't hurt to run a check at least about once a month, but it's not one that you want to get absolutely insane with and run all the time. This information is out there for absolutely everybody. And as always, watch, like, and share. Have a great day.